All right, let's look at another example. We've got ICL3, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the Lewis dot structure first. Balance electrons will be 7 for iodine plus 3 times 7. Each of those chlorines is in group 7. That's going to be a total of 28. Balance electrons should always come out to be an even number. All right, so we'll uh, draw our eye with the three CLs on it. And I'll bond them. Go ahead and bond them. Now what I've done up to this point is I've used up six electrons in those bonds. Now I will uh, satisfy the chlorines by giving them their octet. And now I've used 24. That means I've got four more left, and that will mean two pairs on the central atom. All right, so there we go. So there's your ICL3. There's no charge on it, so no need for brackets on this one. Okay, so now we can go ahead and figure out what the overall shape would be. The overall shape would be, let's see, we've got um, three atoms and two electron pairs. That's a total of five groups. So I go look at my little table here. And the one with five groups on it is the trigonal bipyramidal. So there we go. So that's going to best represent my overall shape. And the shape of the atoms now, I'm going to have to redraw this. And I'll redraw it pretty much the same way as this one is redrawn. And we're looking at the one that has three atoms and two electron pairs. See, just like this, three atoms and two electron pairs. And that's the T-shaped one. So that's how I'm going to draw it. It's T-shaped. And I'm really just copying pretty much off the diagram. Alright, so now you can see how that goes. And uh, the bond angles would be 90 for that one. And between these CLs, we can say 180. And when we're looking at bond angles, it's only ever between bonds. We don't worry about angles between bonds and uh, non-bonding electron pairs. All right, so those would be the two. Those would be the two I would put on there. The shape of the atoms here again is T-shaped. All right, now we can go ahead and get the hybridization. Now we've got five electron groups. So this is for, this is A, this is B, and this is C. So part D. We've got five electron groups, which means we need five hybrids. And that means we need five orbitals to make those five hybrids. And those five orbitals would be S plus P plus P plus P plus a D. And that would be S, P, 3, D. So that's hybridization. Part E is the net dipole. And with the net dipole, I'm going to not worry about the non-bonding electron pairs, nor the electron pairs on the outer atom. We'll just uh, consider these. Now I'll draw my dipoles. And the dipoles are going to run from the eye to the CL, because the CL is more electronegative than the eye.
and you'll notice that these two dipoles will cancel leaving us with this one and that will end up being the net dipole of the molecule.